summer camp. You either loved it, hated it, or you're being forced by your parents to go. Summer camp was one of those things that I was like, ah, do I really gotta go to this thing? Like, no one there actually wanted to go. I mean, maybe, but most people there were being forced to go by their parents. Especially when we were really young. Like, I was in, like, the fourth grade. Yeah, I was in the fourth grade when I first started my summer camp, and that's because my parents thought I was in the house too much playing video games, so they just sent me off to summer camp. And I was there for a whole week without birdie, man. It was tough. And I was at a basketball camp. And I sucked ass at basketball. I was terrible. And all day, I was just thinking about how I was going to be playing Mario Galaxy 2 when I got home. So, of course, like, I physically did not want to be there. I was already mentally checked out in the car on the way there. Like, I already wanted to, like, be home for the summer. Like, I didn't want to do this. You know, I've been to my fair share of day camps. But this was, like, new territory for me. I've been to, like, previous sports camps that were just day camps. But this one was for a whole week. We never have to stay overnight or nothing but it was an entire week long and now i just remember my entire group just misbehaving the whole time like we we did not follow directions like one bit those poor camp counselors are probably like oh my god we really got to deal with these fucking bastards for a week jesus christ it's probably like some middle-aged man he's probably got a beer in one hand like ah Sean, just make sure these bastards just shoot hoops, okay? Uh, right on it, sir. So yeah, you'd either have like a Karen or like a middle-aged man or you'd have a college kid as your camp counselor. So yeah, we were basically just being told what to do for an entire day. I mean, we would have been off the rails if we weren't told what to do. But yeah, the week was pretty standard boring but I had to go again. I didn't really enjoy the first experience all that much. I mean, it was okay, but holy shit, man, I did not want to go again. So this time I chose swim as my sport. That was a great choice, past duck. Jesus, man. It wasn't like I couldn't swim at all. I mean, I was able to stay afloat at least. I mean, I've done my swimming lessons. Yes, sir, let's go. Like my mom basically signed me up for swim at that point. She's like, oh, uh, you like swimming in the pool, right? Uh. Yeah. So yeah, swim camp it was. So I went for a whole week. I mean, it was nice swimming in the pool and not baking in the sun all day. We we did like some all sorts of swimming drills throughout the day, like bobbing underwater or whatever, swimming back and forth doing like freestyle butterfly or whatever the hell it is. And then we got to the point where we were treading water for 5 minutes and I think you all know where this is going. So there's this kid in somewhat close proximity to me. And then 30 seconds or so, I feel like the water's starting to get like really, really warm. I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like it was warmer than the normal water temperature. It, it just felt off. And yeah, I'll just rip off the band-aid. He pissed in the pool. Fuck me. So right there I was treading water trying not to fucking sink because i was in the deep end but yeah i'm the big boy and i can deal with the deep end yeah actually not when there's fucking piss in my nostrils nope so there i was trying not to go under or inhale this piss water like i should have seen that coming from like a mile away like like this has got to be like the most common thing that happens all right come on just stay up think about your clash of clans base come on don't let don't let the barbarians down your mammoth and toe jammer are waiting for you back on your phone come on Lock in. Don't inhale the piss water. Don't die. Yeah, my brain was going in circles. I was just trying to, like, think about my fucking mobile games and my Wii U the whole time. But it did help me distract from the piss water. So that was quite the intro to my summer camp experience. So we get to seventh grade, and now I'm at a football camp. American football. So I started playing football a year prior to that, and I signed up for this camp. And it was only for a day. And man, this camp was, like, fucking intense as shit, bro. Like, the conditioning was, like, on a whole nother level of crazy. Like, nothing. Nothing like I've seen before. Look, like, come on, big boy, let's go! Get to that donut! <gasps> Coach, I can't do it! I can't! Get your fat ass over there! Sprint! Sprint! Yeah, it was crazy. But hey, got me in good shape for a seventh grader, I'll say that. And man, I did not want to be loafing at this camp, bro, because these two coaches would have gotten on my fing head. Like, that just would have been extremely tough. But yeah, I remember him calling me six footer, even though I was like, five foot five i guess i mean he was right i'm fucking six feet now so maybe bro projected my height he looked at me and he's like you know what that kid's gonna be six feet one day like that nickname's gotta be like after a fucking subway sandwich or something like that's what it sounds like and i continued to go to these football day camps and continue to pursue football throughout middle school and early high school until sophomore year and you know what happened sophomore year i continue playing but a part of being on a, on the team you had to go to this overnight football camp and the mustiest oh cabins God, on earth and you had to spend 
five days with your teammates in a musty ass cabin and i was nervous as shit for this so we get there on some like janky ass bus we get out and already man it was going wild so we all sat down on our shitty beds i wouldn't even call them beds those hay mattresses that's probably what they were jesus the mattress was like fucking this thin bro it was, it was bad and already like i don't know a few hours in we already had a practice to go to and man we just fucking got there and the conditioning was even it was even worse than it was in the other football camp like that even got me huffing and puffing man like it was crazy but for the most part it was a fairly normal practice that first day and yep people shower together at the in the bathroom the one musty bathroom that there was i really don't get the appeal man so i, I just went in a fucking trailer shower took a shower and it was a pretty fairly normal day for the rest of the night and then i heard the coach say at night we just got done watching film for like the 50th time and he said all right set your alarms for five in the morning tomorrow we're gonna be up bright and early what five in the five in the morning bro i was just thinking about handing in my pads then and there man like holy fuck and that that was when the conditioning was hitting bro 5 a.m practices Whew. i remember just bear crawling down the entire field bro that that was like one of the like conditionings at the end of the practice and i did not sleep good that night prior to the 5 a.m practice so i was like sluggish as shit that entire day because well one there was a shitty bed and two there was this one kid that wouldn't shut the fuck up bro was like snoring so fucking loud bro was over there like <laughs> like shut the fuck up i was about to smack this dude with the pillow like my roommates already have told this kid like be quiet like five times and he just continued to snore because he wouldn't he would refuse to sleep on his side you know the last day was pretty solid but other than that like the rest of the days were brutal there was one day i woke up and my fucking calf was like screaming for help ready fuck fuck I guess that's how trash the bed quality was. I mean, my calves were like dying. Like, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I was getting leg cramps like every morning. It was basically football if it was boot camp, bro. Like, holy shit. And whenever we messed up a drill, oh, whew, it was the end of the world. Everyone was getting mad at each other. And of course, we had push ups to get on the fucking ground. Discipline. I coach discipline. It's on two. I say it's on two. And believe me, you did not want to be that kid that messed up. Because obviously, we're a team and the whole team would do push ups if one kid messed up. And of course, I would be so pissed off at the kid that messed up. It really did teach me good discipline. So, you know, I really got to thank football camp for that one. If your parents force you to go to summer camp, just try to make the most of it. It was hit or miss some days for me. If you enjoyed this video, I got you. Got another video right there just for you on the end screen. Go watch it now.